Winter is here, and with it comes one of the most explosive political controversies of the season. Labour's drastic cuts to the winter fuel payment scheme were supposed to save money, but instead, they've triggered a nationwide uproar and a stunning backlash. Pensioners across the UK are fighting back in ways no one expected, forcing Labour to rethink its strategy. What went wrong and how did this seemingly straightforward policy completely backfire? Stick around as we break down the twists and turns in this unbelievable story of politics, people power, and unintended consequences. If you found this story eye-opening, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more in-depth news analysis and updates on the stories that matter most. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fresh Updates Daily. Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about developments in the UK right now. Labour's controversial decision to overhaul the winter fuel payment scheme has not only sparked widespread outrage, but has also spectacularly backfired in ways no one anticipated. This story is filled with twists and turns, and I'm here to break it all down for you. Trust me, this one's worth sticking around for. The chill of winter brings more than just frosty mornings and shorter days. It brings real concerns for countless households trying to keep their homes warm. For many, the cost of heating is an unavoidable expense that can stretch budgets to the breaking point. It's in this context that Labour's adjustments to the winter fuel payment scheme have landed like a bombshell. Uh, the fallout has been dramatic, with pensioners and critics alike expressing disbelief at how this vital programme could be thrown into such upheaval. So, uh, what exactly went wrong? How did Labour's well-intentioned plan spiral into a political and financial disaster? First, let's talk about the winter fuel payment itself. For years, it's been a cornerstone initiative designed to help pensioners and vulnerable groups manage heating costs during the colder months. The payment, while modest, has long been viewed as a lifeline, offering crucial support to those most in need. It's not just about money. It's about dignity and survival during the harshest part of the year. However, when Labour came into power, they inherited what they described as a peace 22 billion black hole left behind by the previous government. To address this fiscal crisis, they decided to make some bold changes, one of which was to tighten eligibility for the winter fuel payment. On paper, Labour's plan seemed straightforward. Restrict payments to only those pensioners receiving pension credit or other specific means-tested benefits. By doing this, they projected they could save a staggering P-Zone 0.4 billion, redirecting those funds to what they called higher priorities. It sounded like a reasonable trade-off. After all, focusing resources on the most vulnerable makes sense, right? Well, as it turns out, the reality was far messier than Labour ever anticipated. Here's where things get interesting. Labour's calculations assumed that only about 1.5 million out of the UK's 10.8 million pensioners would qualify for the winter fuel payment under the new rules. But Labour underestimated the determination and ingenuity of pensioners across the country. In response to the cut, there's been a massive surge in pension credit applications. And when I say massive, I mean it. A jaw-dropping 152% increase in applications. Yes, you heard that right. That's hundreds of thousands of pensioners suddenly stepping forward to claim benefits they were already entitled to, but had never applied for. Now, let's unpack why this is such a game-changer. Instead of saving money, Labour is now staring at an unexpected and entirely self-inflicted problem. They'll need to pay out an estimated PS 700 million in additional benefits to all these new pension credit claimants. The plan to save PSONE 0.4 billion has effectively backfired, slashing the expected savings and creating a whole new set of financial challenges. It's a boomerang effect on a scale that's left even seasoned political analysts stunned. But this story isn't just about money, it's about people power. 
many pensioners who were previously unaware of their eligibility for pension credit are now coming forward to claim what they're entitled to. And here's the kicker. It's not just about the winter fuel payment. Pension credit acts as a gateway to a whole range of additional benefits, including housing support, reduced council tax, and help with NHS costs. For thousands of pensioners, this unexpected twist has turned Labour's cuts into an opportunity to access long overdue support. It's almost poetic. The very policy meant to restrict benefits has instead empowered people to demand more from the system. Let's take a step back and look at the broader picture. Labour's leadership defended the cuts, arguing that they were necessary to ensure the programme's sustainability in the long term. But their messaging has often been inconsistent and the optics couldn't be worse. The timing of these cuts couldn't have been more damaging, with energy prices already at record highs and inflation putting unprecedented pressure on household budgets. Critics have accused Labour of being tone deaf, arguing that the policy fails to account for the very real financial hardships many pensioners face this winter. And then there's the issue of fairness or lack thereof. For many, the cuts have felt arbitrary. Pensioners who were previously eligible now find themselves excluded with little explanation. The lack of clarity has only fueled frustration with recipients questioning why they no longer qualify or why their payments have been slashed. This confusion has eroded trust, not just in Labour's handling of the issue, but in the government's ability to manage welfare policy effectively. The backlash has been swift and far-reaching. Opposition parties have seized on this controversy as a prime example of Labour's inability to connect with the struggles of everyday citizens. Even within Labour's own ranks, there's been dissent. Some MPs have openly criticised the leadership, warning that the party risks alienating a key voter demographic, pensioners, while also losing credibility on welfare issues. Public sentiment, as reflected on social media and in petitions, has been overwhelmingly negative. Thousands of people are calling for the reinstatement of the full winter fuel payment, underscoring just how deeply this decision has resonated. What makes this situation even more perplexing is Labour's failure to anticipate the public's response. Historically, the winter fuel payment has been one of the most universally appreciated welfare benefits, cutting across political lines. Its symbolic and practical significance should have made Labour tread more carefully. Instead, their decision has not only alienated pensioners, but has also raised broader questions about the party's priorities and competence. Amid the political fallout, there's a silver lining. Though it's one Labour likely didn't intend, this debacle has shone a spotlight on the broader issue of unclaimed benefits in the UK. For years, billions of pounds in welfare entitlements have gone unclaimed simply because people didn't know they were eligible. Labour's misstep has inadvertently highlighted this problem, sparking conversations about how to improve awareness and accessibility. Advocacy groups are now calling for a more comprehensive approach to tackling energy poverty, emphasising that short-term financial support like the winter fuel payment is just one piece of the puzzle. Long-term solutions, they argue, must include greater investment in energy efficiency measures such as home insulation, and renewable energy initiatives to reduce dependence on subsidies. For pensioners watching this video, my advice is simple. Don't miss out on what you're entitled to. If you haven't already, check your eligibility for pension credit. The application process might seem daunting, but the benefits could be life-changing. Not just the winter fuel payment, but also access to housing support, council tax reductions, and more. There are resources out there to guide you through the process, so don't hesitate to seek help. As the temperature drops and the cost of living crisis continues to bite, Labour's winter fuel payment cuts serve as a stark reminder of the unintended consequences of policy decisions. What started as an attempt to save money has spiralled into a nationwide wake-up call, empowering pensioners to claim the support they deserve. But the broader implications for public trust in social welfare programs can't be ignored. 
This controversy is a cautionary tale, not just for Labour, but for any government attempting to reform welfare without fully understanding the real-world impact of their decisions. So, what do you think? Has Labour learned a valuable lesson from this fiasco? Or are we witnessing the start of even more twists and turns in this saga? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the conversation started. And if you found this update insightful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more breaking news and analysis. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. We're here to keep you informed with fresh perspectives on the stories that matter most. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and take care.